you're looking to install heating in your van, do you know the pros and cons of the different options? Keep watching to find out. Keep up to date by hitting the subscribe button. And you can visit us at explorevan.uk where you can read more about us, our vans and our trips. The topic of this video has potential safety implications for you and your van. Although I have experience of van life, I am not a professional van builder or heating engineer. Therefore, any information I share is purely my opinion. What you choose to install and how you install it is entirely your choice and it is your responsibility to ensure it meets your needs and is safe. With the temperature dropping in the UK, we've been using our van heating more and more. Before I talk about what I think are the good options for van heating, let's talk about the ones that I avoided during our builds. You will see some 12 volt powered heating options on the market. That sounds great, doesn't it? Well, unfortunately, they aren't. With a heat output of around 150 watts, they're just not powerful enough to heat a van. And even with that little heat, they would still flatten your batteries very quickly. Another option you might have considered are standard domestic portable gas heaters, water heaters for static caravans, or portable camping heaters, like these. Although these may seem great, for me they just aren't an option due to some not having external flues, so a risk of carbon monoxide poisoning, not having combustion air inlets from outside the van, so depleting oxygen within the van, open flames that could be a fire risk, and they're just not designed for the harsh life of being shaken about travelling in a van, which could cause them to be unreliable or dangerous. If you do consider these as an option for your van, I'd be sure to check that it won't void your insurance, as some companies do have restrictions on what appliances can be used. The options that I personally would consider can be grouped by the type of fuel they use. There's wood, gas or LPG, diesel, 240 or 110 volt mains electricity, and some units can run a combination of the above. Let's talk through the pros and cons of each. Lots of people like to have a wood burner in their van. A wood burner is a simple and cosy option for your van. There's little chance of them going wrong, needing only small amounts of maintenance, and they use no 12 volt power. What you do need to consider is there may be limited places where you can position them in your van to be safe, and you'll need to provide fire protection all the way around it and below it. And even then, there's a risk of burns from the exposed parts. You do have limited control over the temperature as not having a thermostat, nothing is automatic and you have to feed it to keep it going. They can be a little bit messy and some campsites and insurance companies just won't allow them. Mains electricity powered heaters can be bought easily on the high street. These are really simple to use and install. They have a thermostat to keep the van at the temperature you want, they're cheap to buy and run, and the radiant style are silent, so great for night time. The big downside is that they can only really be used when you are on mains hookup. Batteries and inverters are just not going to be up to the job of keeping these running for any length of time. Gas or LPG heaters, designed specifically for use in caravans or campervans, are made by a number of manufacturers like Truma, Carver or Propex. Once again these are really simple and easy to use. They are thermostatic, if you already have gas to cook you already have a fuel source that will work off grid, and if you go for one that's a radiant option they are silent and use little to none of your 12 volts. The downside is they're a little harder to install due to the need for gas, the units are more expensive and if you use non-refillable bottled gas the fuel could be a bit more expensive too. The fan versions do use some of your 12 volts and can be a little noisy at night. Diesel powered van heaters from the likes of Webasto, Ebispacha or Planar have been around for ages and are an option worth considering. Also, there's Chinese copies coming onto the market at a much lower price point. 
Like the LPG heaters, the diesel option is very convenient with its thermostat. Again, if you have a diesel van, you already have an off-grid fuel source. They're pretty simple to install and the Chinese copies are cheaper to buy. The things to think about are they can be more noisy, either in or outside of your van, because they've got a pump and a fan. And the Chinese versions don't yet have a proven track record and may not be tested to the same standards as the legacy manufacturers. With both a pump and a fan to run, they do use a bit more of your 12 volts. A final consideration is a combination system that uses both gas and 240 volts electric. Truma, for example, have been making combination units that can use both fuels and some that even do heating and hot water. They're always worth a look. Combination appliances that can run on both gas or 240 volt mains really do bring the best of all the options. Some even will heat your hot water as well as heating your van. The downside is they are expensive and more complicated to install. As you've seen, all the options have their pros and cons, so only you can decide which is right for you. Here is my simple comparison chart to help you make your decision. In each section, the more stars, the better. And here are my preferred solutions for different scenarios. If you want something that is super simple, can't go wrong, gives a nice cozy feel to your van, and you're happy to put up with some of the inconvenience and fire risk, then a wood burner is a great idea, but don't forget to check with your insurance company. If money isn't so much of an object and you just want an easy to use system, then these combination units using gas and 240 volts, potentially including heating and hot water, are what I would choose. And this is what we have in our current van. If you're looking for the best value for money with the convenience and some reassurance of reliability, one of the existing LPG or diesel heater manufacturers would be the great choice. This could be supplemented with an additional electric oil radiator for use when you're on hookup. If you're willing to take a little bit of a risk, then one of the Chinese diesel blown air heaters may be worth a chance. Just bear in mind, we don't know how good the quality and safety checking of these is, so the reliability may not be as good. Again, you could supplement the diesel heater with one of the electric oil radiators for use when you unhook up. Watch out for next week's video where we use a thermal imaging camera to check out the insulation of the van and show the importance of windscreen covers. So there we go. If you've got any questions or feedback, just drop them in the comments below. If you found this information useful, please like, share and consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our regular videos.